Hi, Dr. Will Weed here. We're talking about God's love and his pin code for that love. The pin code for God in the te New Testament and for all men to hear is in Christ. God himself placed all of mankind in Christ Jesus. And so it's in Christ Jesus that God deals with mankind. He does not deal with man in the world. We are in the world, but we're not of the world. That might not mean anything to you. But know this, God placed you and you are a spirit in Christ Jesus. And Christ is the spirit, the son of God. In Christ, the spirit, the son of God, God deals with you. Now in Christ, your sins, your shortcomings have been done away with. All the evidence against you that stands contrary to you, against you and contrary to you being yourself, being in fellowship with God has been done away with. Now your consciousness has not grabbed a hold to this truth. So God has sent messengers in the land to herald the truth, the good news of what has been accomplished for all of mankind in Christ Jesus. When you hear the good news, when that good news is delivered to you, uh, ushered into your hearing by the love of God, that you have been reconciled to God, and all you need to do is lay hold of that reconciliation and make it yours and to accept what God has already done for you. You're not saved by your conduct or your behavior. You're saved by grace. And what grace means is what God has done for you in Christ Jesus. Now Christ has taken all your sin away and his blood has washed and cleansed you. You've been redeemed back to the original dream your original place of innocence in Christ Jesus. Now the enemy don't want you to know this. So he tries to blind your mind through feelings and affections and the sensory, your body. So God says, well then you don't walk by your senses. You walk by your faith and your trust in what God has already accomplished for you. When that becomes your reality, you begin to be impregnated with vision and the vision that God impregnates you with, you begin to produce and reproduce in your life. But if your vision, your sight is darkness, then you will produce darkness. But if your vision, your perception is light and life, then you will produce light. You can't produce what's not in you. And you have to allow the word of God to get in your spirit, impregnate you with God's vision for your life, and then you begin to produce what God has placed in you. Wow, I'm already out of time, but I got more to share with you about God's love and the pin code that releases his love into your life, into your reality. But until next time, I want you to remember this, that God has plans for your life, and none of those plans include defeat. See, you can only love out of strength. It takes strength to love. You got to speak with purpose. We think that our salvation is based on performance. God is not a man that he can lie. He's gonna lie. You be a vessel that God is working. Because you somebody might need your holy presence to save them one day.